learning dip describes what it's like to learn something new. At first, the task can start out really fun, but then it can get frustrating when it's hard. And this is when you have to give yourself time and practice and remember you can't do it yet. It takes a lot of work to get through the dip, and that's when you get to the satisfying feeling of being really proud, which you have to put effort in in order to learn something. Gracie, how do you get out of the learning dip? You need to practice new grit. Yep, practice and show grit. Thanks, Gracie. Alexander here, when he does his writing, he makes sure to fill up the page. Alexander, how do you get so much down? I use details and carrots, and I use my processes. So you don't quit? You just keep going until you have your full page? Yeah. Thanks, Alexander. All right, Jose is here to explain to us about the learning dip. Um, so... When you're inside the dip, learning dip, it proves that you're learning something new. And um, what are some of the feelings you have in the dip? Um, you feel frustrated, angry, sad, and then you just feel like you're never gonna do it. That's right. And Jack has some suggestions on how to get out of the dip. You can practice. You can use your resources instead of just using one. You can uh, stick with it. Just keep on trying until. You until the end and then use some feedback. Yeah, what's feedback, Jack? Feedback is information that you get from certain other people. Yeah, so do, getting the, um, practicing the advice that you get. And Jose, when you do make it out of the dip, what's that like? Uh, you feel like you're relaxed, you're like, I finally did it, I'm proud of myself, and then you're like so excited. Thanks, guys. Like a bird on a tree